All right, we are going to get started tonight. We are going to get started. We're going to get started, guys. Oh, man. Listen, I'm excited. This is fantastic. I love it. Come out in all these costumes. Oh, this is great. I hope you guys enjoy this. Truly, the, the kids have put a lot of work into it. Uh, I hope it blesses your heart and that we just honor God and the things that we do. Um, tonight, we do have, after this, we are going to have cupcakes, cocoa, coffee over in the cafeteria area. That's a lot of C's. Cupcakes, cocoa, coffee, cafeteria. I didn't plan that. Someone must have, though. We'll do that directly after. So after all of the singing, you guys can come up, take photos. You can do all that kind of stuff, but we will be headed over there. Um, anything else that we needed to do tonight? Thank you for coming. I truly appreciate you guys coming tonight, taking your time out about Tuesday. I know it's a little bit later, 7 o'clock, but thank you for coming out. I'm going to ask Pastor Knutson, since I'm dressed like this, I feel odd about bringing the prayer for this whole thing. I'm going to ask Pastor Knutson to pray for us, and then we'll get started. Amen, amen. Thank you again for being here. Let's pray. Father, we're sure thankful uh, for this opportunity tonight for the kids to be able to present this program. Thank you for all the hard work. Thank you for all the teachers that have worked hard too to help put things together. I pray that it just be a tremendous blessing. Lord, we thank you most of all for Jesus, for salvation full and free through our Savior who came. And Lord, we just uh, pray that in this Christmas season, Lord, you could be glorified and in all. Glorify yourself tonight in this program. We thank you for it in Jesus' precious name. Amen.
I need to call my grandma, I need to get her family secret recipe, and, oh yeah, I need to learn her very best baking tips. Oh man, I'm not sure about this, but the prizes do, prizes do look really cool. Yes, it is an impressive list. Computer games, ultimate guards, gift certificates, an all-expense paid trip to the Yum Yum Foodie Network studio in New York City. Impressive indeed. Prizes, yes sir. Dude, suddenly I'm having a real craving for cupcakes. I think I need to start baking Charlie has some cupcakes. I wish I had been chosen as one of the contestants. Oh, Amelia, I know it's not fun when you feel left out, and I'm sure many others are feeling sad and disappointed just like you. But we do all get to be a part, and if we think, really, what could be more important than being in the living nativity? You'll have a part in telling the true Christmas story. You're right, Megan. Thanks for listening and understanding. By the way, Amelia, I could really use your help setting up for the special judges for the Cupcake Bake Off. I'd love to help you. You know, Amelia, I mean, Megan, Christmas is my favorite time of the year. I just love to celebrate Jesus' birthday. Me too. And it really is all about his birthday. were lucky. I did want to be the Bake Off so much, but for me, I realized that the living nativity really is the most important part. I'm helping Megan get ready for the judges, and Natalie has asked me to help her. She's even trusting me with her grandmother's secret family recipe. What? Grandma's secret what? Her grandmother's secret, re her grandmother's secret recipe is her cupcake recipe. Well, we'll see about that. Nothing keeps my devil. 
Mmm. Devil food? What an interesting choice, Noel. <laughs> yes, I'll be using my grandmother's award-winning recipe for red velvet cupcakes. <laughs> Nally, did you say red velvet cupcakes? <laughs> red velvet cupcakes? <laughs> Excuse me, Nally. But wouldn't red velvet be a soft, velour type fabric, more suitable for clothing or even furniture than cupcakes? Oh. <laughs> Amelia, it looks like I've lost my grandmother's secret recipe. Have you seen it? Oh, no, Natalie, it has to be here somewhere. You just had it a few moments ago. No one here would deliberately take it. I'm not sure what to do without that recipe. How could I have lost it? It's almost time to start making the cupcakes. We'll find it. I just know we will. But somehow, I think we all may have lost the true recipe of Christmas. I think we have all gotten too caught up in the excitement of the cupcake contest. Some of us are forgetting the most important part of Christmas, and that's Jesus. I agree. We're getting caught up in the cupcake world. Thank you for telling me about the recipe. Are you guys thinking what I'm thinking? We all know what we should do with these prizes. Yes, yes, yes! We can give them away at the Living Nativity at the town park along with our other gifts to the boys and girls. We are helping out this Christmas. Well, I do have great ideas. Boo! Yes, Christmas is all about God giving his best recipe of love away. He gave his only begotten son, Jesus. And that reminds me of my favorite verse in the Bible. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. Now that for sure is the most winning recipe in all of life. We've got a plan. Now let's go get the boys on board and bake up some cupcakes. Guys, we've got an idea. <clears throat> Welcome everyone, listen up. I want you all to meet our honorable and award-winning judges. Here they are, Paula Queen! Oh! Hey y'all, Merry Christmas everybody! Mmm, something sure smells good in here. I just can't wait to taste these yummy cupcakes. Oh! Mr. Guy Spaghetti! <laughs> Let's take this cupcake Cadillac down the Frozen Freeway to Lady McCallie! <laughs> and Miss Betty Rocker! Yummy or what? Heavenly. Everyone give her just a big Christmas welcome. Okay, time for 
Cupcakes. Everybody ready? the results, y'all! No L for your devil, I mean dark, dark chocolate cupcake, sweetie. You get third place. But tell me, sweetie, where did you get that outfit? I have just got to get me one of those. For your grandmother's secret recipe, the red velvet cupcakes, Natalie, you win second place. Thanks, Grandma. This is for you. And now for the grand prize. Hunter! We all thought your historically accurate cupcakes were quite tasty and clever, but the grand prize goes to Charlie for <laughs> Charlie wins an all-expense paid trip to the Yum Yum Food Network in New York City to participate in the National Bake Off. <laughs> Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Well, no one is more surprised than me. I guess my winning the cutest Christmas cupcake contest just goes to show you that miracles are still happening every Christmas. Ha, ha, ha. and Christmas gifts and treats. We've got a living nativity and Christmas party to attend. Let's show the Yum Yum Foodie Network the sweetest story ever told. No tell mountain over the hills and everywhere. No tell mountain that Jesus Christ is born down in our lowly Jesus Christ is born. Fabulous, 
fabulous. Red on. Awesome. Great job. That was so great. I love it. You guys did a great job. Little kids, you did awesome. That was so good. I love it. Listen, we would be remiss if we didn't thank some other people here. So, so some thank yous that we did not do. Our pianist, DJ Gamayanov, had done a fantastic job. A student in our school. Fantastic job. And then the director of our production here, Miss Megan Bowser. The staff has made you some great, huge, amazing cupcake. Yeah, this thing is amazing. Oh, awesome. Well, listen, thank you very much again for coming out. We do have cupcakes, cocoa, and coffee in the cafeteria. Let's all go have cupcakes! <laughs>